find yourself dating single mothers, you should date before you get into a relationship and you should make and state your intention as, as truthfully and as honest as you can right from the get go. And when you speak on women who are looking at a way out of a single parenthood, mm -hmm. once you sort of make your intention, um, clearly from the beginning as I mentioned in past pro uh, podcast, I'm here to have fun. I'm very ambitious. I'm career driven. If you want that, you can have that. If you don't, let's move on. Let's not waste time. When you put that to someone who is looking for a way out, they are not going to stick around and entertain that. Especially if you prolong that dating phase for more than six months, which I've shared in the podcast that we met, I think roughly around this month, eh, when we first started. What month have we April? April, yeah. yeah. And it didn't take until December of that year for me to ask her out. And that's a very long time for in, for anyone to look at a way out if the potential is there, but you have no clear indi indication of moving forward to that. So as a man, I think you should date before you get into a relationship, but it's also a good time for you to look at the woman and the quality of the woman that you're with, whether they're single parent or not. This is a perfect time for you to vet them in the, in the sense of who are they behind closed doors? Um, what are their uh, behaviors like, attitude like, and how are they towards you? And not only that, how are they towards their children? Because that gives you a key indicator of where their priorities are. And not only that, if you're looking at long-term relationship, the way that they behave towards their children in that face will give you a good indication of what she will be like when you're in a relationship with her towards you and any children that you have when you get into a relationship. So it's it's not rocket science. And I think what we're doing now with young men, and it's led mostly by um, a lot of feminine men and women, is that we are bringing this notion of falling in love is what you gauge relationship with. It's not. It's what quality does the other person bring to you and what can you do to complement those quality to make the relationship work. And I always talk about compromises. Compromises are two-way street. You should never compromise to the point where one, pe uh, one person holds more power than the other. And if you do give in in certain situation, it should be addressed immediately after that compromise uh, has gone either direction. So the way that I, I look at our relationship and just how I analyzed the situation right before we got into a relationship, I didn't care much about love in that sense. I cared about what what this woman brought to my life and me giving her boundaries. And it was very simple. My boundaries were when I'm working, I'm working. Please do not hassle me. Um, when I do find the time, I'll, you know, we'll get together, do whatever it is that we have to do. But please do not hassle me while I'm working. And not only that, uh, do not bring your kid around. We're still dating. I do not want to add an imprint to a child who has no grip on what the world is from an adult's point of view and I do not want to imprint a memory on him that is just um, come and go. One of the biggest things that I'm so grateful for is that my parent uh, gave me a sense of how truly important having family, having a family was and the role and responsibility of what a, what a, a male figure is in a family, especially as a father. And that's how I gauge my relationship moving moving um, throughout my adult life. Now, I'm not saying that these were always the way that I looked at it, but in the sense of where my relationship was at its beginning and where it is now, I didn't choose her for love. I chose her because she was a feminine woman. She catered to me and she left me alone because ultimately, and this is the logic behind it, if I am so busy, whatever it is that I'm, that I'm chasing, whatever it is, whether it's my career, an entrepreneur, a business, if I'm busy right now and we are able to make that dynamic work, I will be able to invest the same amount of energy towards our relationship once we fully commit. And knowing that you support me even before a relationship lets me know that that's going to be a consistent thing once we get into a relationship. So you can't predict these things, but you can look for telltale signs of certain women who have those extra uh, packages that they bring to the table and know when to avoid them or when to say, hey, this is not going to work. 
let's not waste each other's time. You know, go look for what you need as a woman and I'll go look for what I need as a man. So vetting is very important, especially as a man in a, in a dating market where the majority of your suitors are um, single mothers. Daniela, quick question I want to ask you. So I know when you were pursuing Alisi, uh, you know, when you guys were dating, the dating phase, uh, what, what, uh, what's, what did, uh, what did Alicia show you, or, or a situation that happened to let you know, you know what, um, this is actually something that's genuine. It's not coming from a place of uh, she's looking for some for a savior, like the, the like that video. You know, a lot of men have that fear that a, a woman is just picking you because uh, she needs you and she's looking to be saved. So, like, uh, did that ever cross your mind? I mean, you know, maybe she's, yeah. you know, she's a single mom. Maybe she's just choosing me because. I'm probably the best guy out there for her right now, and uh, and uh, like, did, did you ever cut? If it ever crossed your mind, and what did she show you? Do you know what? This is something that's genuine. This is something that can I can see going long term, and I don't feel like I'm. I'm she's just gonna use me for my resources uh, because that's her option right now, her situation right now. Yeah. So when you hear a lot of of men talking about, you know. Um, try and figure out whether these single mothers are looking at a way out. They're looking at utilizing you as a um, form of resources to cater to her and her children. That should, should be an obvious thing um, to any man when you're dating a single mother. It, it logically makes sense that when you have a child and you're a woman, it makes logical sense to me as a man that she will be looking for the support that she needs that she didn't get, whether that's financially or not. Hmm. So when we look at it, it's not like a oh, only certain single mothers look at it in that way. I think majority of single parents look at it in that sense when they go into a relationship. It's not just the, I need to find someone that I match with and, and we can create a long-term relationship. It's also to share the burden of it is, what it is that you have as children. And if you don't go, and if you go into a relationship, whether you're a single mother, a single dad, not looking at it in that sense, then why are you even looking for a relationship, right? Because obviously your children comes with you as a, as a whole package. So when you do go looking in for relationship, that should be something that crosses your mind. So from a man's perspective is that should be the reality of the way that you look at it from the get go anyway. But what are the qualities that are going to give you an easier time in terms of uh, taking on this responsibility that is another child um, that is not biologically yours. And not only that, dealing with a imprinted experience that didn't go so well, but resulted in a child. Because that's another huge factor that uh, brings a lot of complication when you're in a relationship with a single mother, is that their guard is high uh, and it's very, it's much higher than a normal woman with no kids. So those are the things that you look at as a man and think, is this something that I can um, mitigate enough with certain behavior, certain uh, values? Or if it's not, then move on. And I think we, people should stop demonizing men who chooses to go the other way. If you choose to not date single mothers, that's that's on you, that's your you know prerogative, and that's fine. It's fine. But for the men who chooses to go this route, um, it's the same thing. Um, and not only that, I think when we make content, when we look at people who make content in terms of dating single mother versus dating single women who have no children, they're forgetting a big factor that is beyond what it is being talked about. Every relationship requires work. And my own personal belief is that as a man, if your relationship fail, you should look and be accountable for what has led to that and how it failed, and the responsibility, your responsibility in the way you build your value, you should look at it from a standpoint of, I created that relationship to fail, so what the hell am I going to do for the next time that I end up in the same situation? So I think I'm tangenting it off on a bit, and, you know, jump on if you feel like. Uh, yeah. But um, as a man... You should, you should already come to term when you date a single mother that they are looking to share the burden. Yeah. That should be something that is already in your mind. 
Why? Because they already have a child that another man has either decided to go their own way or the relationship didn't work, regardless of whatever the reason is. What you should do is vet these women in the sense of, if this is a woman I want to get into a long-term relationship with, what are the qualities that she's showing me, and not just me, her child, that will make her the woman that I can make compromises with, I can grow with, I can see myself marrying long-term, and we create a family together. 